Hello my dear friends, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very exciting and promising video of algebraic challenging equations. In this series, we are going to solve one very interesting rational equation that is x over x square minus 3 plus half equal to x square minus 1 over x plus 5. So let me write here the domain first. So if you will observe x square minus 3, x plus 5 cannot be 0. That means x cannot be equal to plus minus square root 3 and negative 5. It is, it cannot be, so not equal to. Now what I will do, I will rationalize the terms so that my denominator will be common denominator. So I am going to write first term as x over 2 times, so 2x I have to write over there, x square minus 3. First term is done. What I did here? Multiplied numerator and denominator with this 2. Now half. I want to convert my term same means denominator identical. So what, what I am doing? Multiplied x square minus 3 in the numerator denominator. Simple. Value should not change. Or you can take LCM also x plus 5. Now denominator is identical. I will write simple addition of the numerator. So 2x plus x square minus 3 divided by 2 times x square minus 3. Okay. RHS is unchanged. x square minus 1 over x plus 5. Now I will write x square plus 2x minus 3 divided by 2 times x square minus 3 and RHS is x square minus 1 over x plus 5. Done. Now I am going to factorize the numerator of x square plus 2x minus 3. How we will factorize? By splitting the central term. I will write 2x as 3x minus x equal to, see, from first 2, I will take x out, x common. So what is left? x plus 3. From last 2, I will take minus 1 out, x plus 3. So factorization, ultimate factorization of this quadratic equation is x minus 1 times x plus 3. Done. In that place, I am going to write x minus 1, x plus 3, divided by 2 times x square minus 3. Right hand side, the difference of 2 squares formula. Let me write that formula first, which a square minus b square, a plus b times a minus b. So I will write my RHS as x plus 1 x minus 1 divided by x plus 5. Simple. Now cancel x minus 1 from both sides and write over there this is my solution because it is not in the restricted domain also. So x is equal to 1 is our solution. Okay. Now x plus 3 over 2 times x square might cross multiply the terms. So if I will cross multiply I will write let me write x plus 3 times x plus 5. Done. Then 2 times x plus 1, x square minus 3. Now simply expand. So I will write x square plus 5x plus 3x, 8x. 3 times 5, 15 equal to 2 in bracket. x cube plus x square. Let me expand only brackets. Minus 3x minus 3. Take all the terms to right hand side. So equation will come out. 2x cube plus x square minus 14x minus 21 equal to 0. This is our required cubic equation. Now task is very very simple. Okay, now 
there are two methods see method number one i am not going to tell you the both method because you know already 2x cube we have solved number of problems based on that so i am thinking to tell you something which you don't know or less know okay so what i am writing here see 2x cube i am going to write this x square as minus 6x square plus 7x square okay what i did here i have written in that place plus 1x square as minus 6x square plus 7x square okay done minus 14x i am going to write minus 21x plus 7x and it is not trick i will tell you little later minus 21 equal to 0 so if from the first two term if i will take something common which term is common so i will take 2x square common from these two so what will left that is x minus 3 from next two i will consider 7x common what would be left x minus 3 from last two we are having 7 common what is left same x minus 3 that means task is done x minus 3 times 2x square plus 7x plus 7 equal to 0 now question arises how would you know x square should be written in terms of 6x square minus 6x square plus 7x square and how would you know when minus 14x is written as minus 21x plus 7x this is question so that is not trick that is remainder theorem so let's talk about remainder theorem also so i will write this cubic equation that is 2x cube plus x square this equation and then we will get to know about how we can split or your answer is waiting for you x minus 3 is equal to 0 x is equal to 3 one solution was x is equal to 1 and see once you will solve this quadratic equation you will get to know the remaining two solutions so let me apply quadratic formula minus b minus 7 plus minus square root b square 49 minus 4 ac 4 times 2 8 8 times 7 56 over 2a so 4 so it will come out minus 7 plus minus square root minus 7 over 4 and the square root of negative 1 we know it is i so i will write my answer which will be complex or imaginary root minus 7 plus minus i times square root 7 over 4 so if real solution is asked then we will write my answer is 1 and 3 now the same question how we get to know about this cubic equation i have to split in this manner okay minus 6x square plus 7x square let me write that cubic equation then we will talk 2x cube plus x square minus 14x let me write 2x cube plus x square minus 14x minus 21 equal to 0 quickly we will understand see first point is you should know one base solution so rational root theorem that logic you know already plus minus 3 plus minus 7 that that series you know and you will find out the base solution so i know that base solution is 3 okay so once we know the base solution that means we know x minus 3 is one factor of this cubic polynomial i will apply remainder theorem so what is the basic fundamental of remainder theorem decrease one exponent of the leading coefficient leading term so 2x square so leading variable is x cube I will write x square and the remaining one I will write x minus 3. So if you will multiply these two, so it is there 2x cube. What is extra which we included that is minus 6x square. To counter that minus 6x square, I have to write here 6x square. This is the information about how you are going to split this cubic equation. Okay the counter portion will tell you let me write here 
if I can write 2x cube plus x square minus 14x minus 21 equal to 0. What I wrote? Minus 6x square plus 7x square. And this 40 minus 14 I wrote minus 21x plus 7x. If you see this. I splitted x square in terms of this term and I splitted minus 14x in terms of minus 21 plus 7. So this 6 is the information about how means 1x square I want to write 6x square plus something. So understood it is I will write 6x square negative sign that minus sign is there. So this is the counterpart. So minus 6x square plus 7. This term will tell you the number which I have to split. So 1 can be written in terms of this number minus 6x square. You can see, you can check one more time. Plus x square minus 14x minus 21 equal to 0. So this is 7x square minus 14x minus 21 equal to 0. Okay. Now again I will do the same thing. 7x times x minus 3. Done. See the information which I gave you. This product I am going to write here to compensate that minus 21. I am going to write here plus 21x. So that, that sign is this 21x with minus sign. So that will be the split value. So I will write minus 21x plus 7x. Once it is known that minus 21 is there, so obviously the remaining would be, you, you can easily write that is 7x. I hope it is clear. Let's verify both the real values. Verify. So x is equal to 1. If I will put, then 1 over 1 minus 3 plus half is equal to 1 minus, 1 square is 1 over 6. So right hand side is 0 left hand side is also 0, 0 equal to 0, verified. Second value I will verify that is x is equal to 3, true. Let, let me write 3 over 3 square minus 3, so that is 9 minus 3, 6 plus half, half plus half it is 1, 3 square minus 1 over 3 plus 5. 8 over 8, 1, 1 equal to 1. Our answer becomes correct and it is verified also. So final solution for real values, I will write x is equal to 1, x equal to 3. I hope you like this video. It will make some sense. Bye-bye till next video and do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.